The 7th Annual Interpol IP Crime Conference brought together more than 500 delegates from 67 countries, representing both the public and private sectors. Hosted by the Anne Goddard Shokana and in partnership with Underwriters Laboratories, the conference was designed to encourage the law enforcement community as well as stakeholders from the private sector to work together to combat the increasing challenges of transnational organized IP crime. I can remember back to the very first uh, conferences that we had and, and this would this would have been a dream in those days so the it, it's representative of how important people see this event now over the years and um, this is our seventh conference and it has grown each time um, into exactly what it is which is the number one enforcement IP conference. The theme of this year's conference was borderless enforcement empowering those who combat transnational organized crime The three-day event involved plenary meetings, operational workshops, and interactive roundtable sessions where participants gathered to discuss key issues and share their expertise. An additional feature to this year's conference included an expanded exhibition area which provided a unique forum for investigative agencies and law enforcement representatives to receive product identification training from rights holders together in one venue. More networking time was also built into the program's agenda to further allow delegates the opportunity to meet with sponsors, IP crime service providers, and experts. Working with Interpol has really been uh, a great experience for UL. First of all, Interpol comes to this partnership and this conference with a very strong commitment to help improve the ability of law enforcement and customs officials around the world to combat illicit goods. Uh, and then secondly, Interpol has been incredibly capable of bringing skills, people, resources, focus, knowledge that has made this conference the success that it is. And without Interpol, in fact, I believe this conference would never have been successful and, and may never have existed. This year, Interpol was the recipient of the 2013 Global Anti-Counterfeiting Network's International Police Body Award for outstanding achievement in combating counterfeiting and piracy around the world, and served as a highlight of this year's conference, underscoring the continued need for international cooperation to help eradicate transnational